bye everyone thank you for watching this video so you can subscribe like and share so in this video we'll discuss about the communication system or data communication system so what is the data communication system is the communication the process of transferring the data from one party to another party or in a network we exchange the data between one device with another device okay, the process of exchange the data from one device to another device that connected together are through the or via the transmission medium the transmission medium it can be wired or wireless so there are five component in transmission medium or in uh, sorry five component in the data communications so first you must have a sender okay this one is your sender and then you must have the receiver the communication is for example communication between me and you so I'm the one who talk so I'm the sender you are the one who listen you are the receiver okay when I talk I send a signal of voice so that are the message okay the data that we exchange is my voice what are information that I given to you so is the process of exchange the data between me and you so the data here itself is the message that we transfer and then the process of transferring the data must be through the transmission medium so the transmission medium it can be either wired or wireless okay for example uh, two devices connected together let's say this microphone and my pc so microphone is device one my pc is device two when I talk through the microphone, I exchange the data between this microphone with the PC. Okay, the microphone take my voice and translate into data zero and one because in that world, in computer science, in digital day, we use zero and one. Translate that zero and one from the signal that I send from my voice through the white cable this one is the transmission medium okay, to my PC so that are the process of communication so we must have sender device 1 we must have receiver my PC device 2 we must have data that we transfer from this microphone to the PC that data we call as the message or in data communication the data exchange so that are the message and through the transmission medium either it can be wired or wireless and the process of communication between two devices must be guide or must be guided must have a standard using the protocol okay, a set of rule that guide the guide the communication between two devices we call as the protocol so basically in data communication we have five component the first one we have sender second one we have the receiver and then we have the message that we exchange together between sender and receiver and then we must have the transmission medium and the transmission medium uh, and the communication must guide by the protocol or rules by the protocol so sender receiver message transmission medium and the protocol that are the five component in data communication okay when you have a communicate you must make sure you must ensure that your communication is effective so how to measure the effectiveness of data communication system is based on parameters so in this case we use three parameters in order to ensure that the process of data communications is effective okay the process of communication is effective or the, the data communication system is effective so the parameters are one is delivery the system okay in the data communication system it must deliver the correct data to the destination from the sender to the receiver let's say you s you type hello so the word hello must be received by your receiver okay means it deliver to your receiver okay the second one is accuracy of data when you type hello the data must deliver as hello to 
your friends or to your receiver so that are the accuracy of data the data cannot be uh, altered let's say you say hello at the end your friend said receive hell so that is not effective data communication so and the third point is timeline the system must deliver the data in timely manner okay so uh, that are three uh, parameters that we use in order to measure the effectiveness of data communication system the delivery the accuracy and the timeline and the data that you send it can represent uh, using certain certain code ASCII code Unicode ISO standard extended ASCII code and also the data also can be either uh, audio video text numbers or images so that are how uh, what are ki a type of data that you can send to the data communication system and how we can represent the data okay in network in computer science the data will be transformed into zero and one so we call that as in bit units and then the next part is about the data flow in data communication we have three type of data flow the first one is simplex mean one direction okay example is keyboard you type something to the keyboard the keyboard will send to the processor or the CPU only keyboard can send the data CPU cannot send the data to the keyboard that one way direction flow of uh, data second part we call as half duplex both device is allowed to send a data but not in the same time example of this uh, device that we use in the real world is walkie talkie okay. when you talk your receiver need to listen and then after you talk then your receiver can reply so half duplex both can send the data but not simultaneously and the third one we call as full duplex both device able to send the data simultaneously so the direction of data you can refer to this figure 1.2 this one is simplex this one is half duplex and this one is the full duplex so that's all for data communication so later we'll talk about the computer network